but it doesn't matter if you want to play Minecraft in VR, gain access to hundreds of free games, or play PC VR titles like Boneworks or Half-Life Alex without a gaming PC. SideQuest can do it all and more. Today I'm going to show you a super easy way to download it, so without wasting any more time, let's dive in. SideQuest can be installed directly onto your Quest 2, allowing you to use it without connecting to an external device. However, for the initial 10 minute installation, you do need a computer or Android phone or Android tablet, any Mac, PC, Linux, or Android device will work, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. A $30 Android phone or your mom's old computer from 2005 will do the trick. Additionally, you'll need a way to connect your headset to that device. Usually the charger that came with your Quest 2 works, but if the device you are using doesn't have a USB-C, you'll need a cable for whatever connection it does have. The first step is to enable developer mode. To enable developer mode, open up the MetaQuest smartphone app, click menu in the bottom right corner, select devices, make sure your headset is turned on and connected, then choose headset settings, select developer mode, and toggle the switch on. Next, plug your headset into the device you'll be using to download SideQuest. Once plugged in, put the headset on and click allow. Now, while leaving the headset connected, take it off and head to sidequestvr.com and click get SideQuest. As you scroll down, you'll see two options, the easy installer and the advanced installer. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download the Easy Installer, but the steps for the Advanced Installer are pretty similar. The only difference is that the full program will be downloaded onto your computer rather than a slimmed down version on your Quest. So let's go ahead and click the download option that matches your computer under Easy Installer. If you're using an Android phone, the process is the same except you're going to need to download SideQuest from the Google Play Store rather than SideQuestVR.com. When the download is completed, open it up and you should see this window. Make sure you see the green dot in the message confirming your headset is connected. Next, you're going to want to click Install SideQuest in your headset. Then you could just sit back and relax for a few moments as it loads and before you know it, boom, you got the confetti and it's been downloaded. Now we just have to set up SideQuest within the headset and you'll be good to go. Put on your Quest 2, go to your apps, click all in the top right corner, then select unknown sources from the drop down menu. Once you open SideQuest, you're going to be presented with the code. Make sure to memorize it or write it down, you're going to need it in a moment. Remove the headset and visit sdq.st slash link. If you already have a SideQuest account, you could log in, but if not, just create one by signing up. Once logged in, enter the code that was displayed in the headset earlier. Once your SideQuest account has been successfully linked to the headset, attempt to download a game from SideQuest. The first time you try to download something will not work. You will receive an error message that says, for security reasons, your phone is not permitted to install apps from unknown sources. Don't panic, this is expected. To resolve this, click settings and turn on the toggle switch labeled allow from this source. And that's it, you now have SideQuest installed on your Quest 2. The coolest program on SideQuest, in my opinion, is Plutosphere, which is a cloud gaming software, and it allows you to play PC VR games on Steam, like Boneworks or Half-Life Alex, on your Quest 2 without a gaming PC. I made a video a while back showing how to do that, and I'll link that right here as well as in this video's description. And of course, if any of you have any questions, just comment them down below. I'll make sure to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Andy's VR Reviews.